Sharp contrasts are emerging in the global battle with COVID as another new variant develops. China, where COVID-19 is thought to have originated, is reporting its first coronavirus-related death since last January. Here in the U.S., the nation's second-largest school district, Los Angeles, is preparing to drop its mask mandate. The change comes as the number of new COVID cases in the U.S. has dropped dramatically over the past month. But the number of new cases globally has climbed by 8% within the last week. Michael George is here with the very latest. Good morning, Michael. Michelle, good morning. As the COVID cases continue to drop here in the U.S., both Pfizer and Moderna are asking the Food and Drug Administration to approve a fourth dose of their vaccines. Staying boosted will be increasingly important as the new BA2 COVID variant begins to spread in this country. Fourth COVID vaccine doses are already recommended by the Centers for Disease Control for some sick people. The CDC um, does recommend fourth doses for the immunocompromised. Uh, well, it hasn't been, of course, as you noted, uh, approved for others. Pfizer wants its booster to be available for people 65 and older, while Moderna wants to give its fourth shot to all adults. Even with nearly 65% of the U.S. population fully vaccinated, there remain millions of people who haven't been vaccinated at all. We have reached a pivot point. How well we pivot? is on us, all of us. And so if you ask me, will things go well, I'll return the answer by saying, will everyone do their part? Talking with the Associated Press yesterday, Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra again urged vaccinations for more people before the highly contagious BA2 variant hits hard. And if everyone does their part, then yes. If not, get ready, because this thing has taken us on a wild ride. COVID is hard to tame. And we've learned uh, COVID can throw any number of things at us. So get ready. Now, we're still in the early stages with BA.2, but the evidence so far shows that it doesn't appear to be more severe than Omicron. And research shows that the current vaccines do offer good protection against it. Jeff? Okay, Michael, thank you very much. For